G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. The time is 4.30 a.m. and we just left the Swamp Oak Shelter and heading to the Murray Shelter on the Bibbleman Track. Time is just after seven, so I've been walking about an hour now. And the sun's just peeking its head over the hills and everywhere, so it warmed up a little bit when it happened. Walking out of the Swamp Oak shelter, if you turn right, you'll see a sign saying wrong way. When you come out of Swamp Oak shelter, you need to head back towards the way you came if you're coming from running up. And just to the right of the track that you came down, on a tree you'll see the warble pointing right, and there's a smaller track. That's your way to head south towards Collie. Three hours in, the first hour wasn't too bad, nice gradual incline, a couple of declines, and wham, I don't know if you can see, up the other side of that, back down, up this one now, so, walking poles, coming down that one over there, I went flat on my ass I did, all the gravel and so steep, so walking poles will help and help you actually get up and down these hills. I'm not complaining, it's still beautiful out here. <laughs> Nearly four hours in and the last half hour has been fairly level. Been quite nice. My knees are a bit of a rest in the you know, legs. I think I'm just over halfway. Uh, that's not too bad. There's been some beautiful views up here. Probably hear the wind, there's been some cold wind too. Still now, I'm, I'm just 10 to 9 in the morning. So, hopefully, I'll be at the shelter by about 1 o'clock. At 10 o'clock and got five kilometers ish to go so I just thought I'd stop for 10 minutes have a drink of water and check the map yeah I'm about five kilometers away from the Murray shelter this last hour it's just been a nice gentle decline all the way so far but a little inclined here and ever just a gentle decline all the way so I'm hoping it stays like this for most of the way, if not all the way. It'll be quite nice. Uh, it's beginning to warm. Oh, the sun's out warm, warming up. In direct sunlight, 
was reading 35 degrees centigrade which is about 95 degrees Fahrenheit with a cool breeze it doesn't feel like it uh, one more reason to make sure to keep my hat on Race horse, go on. Made it to shelter. Actually got in at 12.20 in the afternoon. Uh, so it's, it's just over an hour uh, sooner than I'd planned this morning. The last bit, the last couple of kilometres coming actually into the shelter is a nightmare. You're coming through all the bush, uh, all the bushes and the, the fern where as you walk along the side of the river. You don't get to see the river, not until you actually get to the shelter. But it's not level. You get bits going down like that, then up the same other side, all the loose gravel, um, honky nuts, yeah, all, all the hazardous stuff. All comes in the last couple of kilometres walking into here. So make sure you've got a couple of walking poles to give you a bit of stabilisation as you're coming through there. Because that's probably the, the worst uh, section I've seen in the sense of all the the loose ground, the gravel, the pea gravel, the honky nuts and all the stones and the rocks and the leaves. It's, yeah, if you've got bad knees or hips that's going to hurt. It hurt my knees and one of my knees hurt when I go down hills and the other one hurts as I go up hills. So. That was just a double whammy, a double whammy all the way there, up and down, up and down, slipping and sliding. Um, Tell you one thing, I'm really glad I got to the shelter today. I just had a had a, a had enough. I had. It was just so. Um, yeah, I didn't enjoy this section. I didn't enjoy it at all. The beginning was quite flat. It, it went up just nice and gradual. But then, all of a sudden, it was bump, 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 bump. So, like I said. Be aware of what this little bit's like, or this section between Swamp Oak and here. And yeah, beautiful view from the, the actual sitting here in the Murray Shelter. It's just lovely, it's watching the river. I'm going to go down there in, in a little while, and I think I'm just going to have a, a jump in there and have a bathe and just cool off. Yeah. Yeah, the this section, like I said, I didn't enjoy it. But there, there was parts of it. I, I, I always find every part beautiful. I always find something to admire. It's just some beautiful scenery. It's just the way the track has been done. It. I think they went. Some, sometimes they went out of their way on purpose to make it bloody difficult. But no. Uh, I think you need a couple of hundred people to just walk down here with a couple of wheelbarrows each and just dump it and level this section off a bit. Anyway, I'm going to get sorted for the night. I'm going to get the airbed out. I had the uh, hammock up last night and I'm going to ground tonight to get the airbed and the pillow and just. Yeah, rough it as they say. So if you enjoyed the video and you haven't subscribed already, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it and then click all and then click the like button. And if you are already a subscriber again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.